The Indian president's home may be the most lavish property of any world leader, comprising 330 acres and containing features like a big golf course, stables for camels and horses, extravagant gardens, and a 200,000 square foot palace. This Indian presidential residence is one of the largest in the world, with hidden galleries, royal guest wings, and a museum housing millions of dollars in historic antiques and gifts presented to Indian emperors. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more intriguing videos like this, and be sure to watch this video till the end. Therefore, anytime we upload a new video, you'll be notified so that you won't miss out on interesting videos from us. Alright, let's get started. Let's go inside and explore what makes this presidential estate so unique. These are the iron gates that welcome you to the home of India's president, Rashtrapati Bhavan, designed by architect Edwin Lutyens. This historic property was once the Viceroy of India's palace. The 330-acre estate has everything from gardens to a full-service garage, and the four courts meet us with majestic Tuscan pillars and a five-ton Remperva basin. An edge-shaped edifice covering five acres with 340 rooms spread across four stories, 2.5 kilometers of corridors, 200,000 square feet of floor space and 190 acres of gardens immediately behind the building is only a sample of the sort of valuable heritage inside. The massive project took 300,000 workers from 1912 to 1929 to complete, using 700 million bricks and 3 million cubic feet of stone. The cost of building the presidential residence was 14 million rupees at the time. But considering inflation rates, since then, that amount today would be about 2.65 billion rupees or 36.3 million US dollars. But the building and its vast grounds are worth much more than what they would cost to build. Taking into account the cost of surrounding homes and land in New Delhi, lower estimates place the presidential estate's worth at more than 10 billion US dollars, while higher estimates place it at more than 34.5 billion dollars. Let's step inside and observe why this is known as the Durbar Hall, a venue utilized for major rituals, such as the inauguration of ministers and government appointees. It has a two-ton chandelier and a 4th century Buddha statue that was placed symbolically on the same level as the India Gate. A war monument is also placed on the Rajpath and next door is the library which houses over 2,000 rare books dating back to the 19th century from both India and Britain. The amazing hall also houses several priceless antiques. It holds rare pictures and statues of former viceroys and the British monarchy and connects to the gift museum which houses historic treasures worth millions of dollars. It has all of India's president's gifts as well as the silver chairs that King George V and Queen Mary sat on in Durbar Hall. The one used by the king weighs 640 kilograms, while the queen weighs somewhat less. But this is one of the most spectacular rooms of them all, called the Viceroy's Ballroom. This was an elegant state ballroom with springs built on the floors for the ultimate dance experience. Presently, the space with its many chandeliers and impressive ceiling art is used to host important ceremonies. So where did the president and his guests eat on this huge estate? That would be the dining hall, which has its secret. You will notice there are hundreds of portraits of past presidents on the walls, but each of them also has a light situated directly on top of the frame, which gives the server information about when to serve, remove, or pause between meals. But even more secret than these signals are the hidden musical galleries beneath the walls, where musicians play during meals, providing the perfect dinner mood without being noticed. Important guests also receive the best rooms in the estate to stay in while visiting. This is the guest wing, which spans three levels in the palace's southwest corner and was restored in 2014. The Dwarka suite is the largest and most magnificent of the rooms. It has an adjacent sitting room and dining room and is furnished with Kashmiri rugs, teakwood furniture and chandeliers imported from Europe. This wing was once the Viceroy's house, but India's presidents have all elected to downgrade to significantly smaller quarters currently. The president's private apartments are located in the northwest wing of the palace and spans only two levels. These quarters are now occupied by India's current president. It's also rumored that, like many other world leaders' mansions, 
there are secret bunkers beneath the presidential estate. While simply suspected, these bunkers wouldn't be strange, given that the palace contains secret chambers within its walls. Let's take a closer look at the gardens before we leave. The Mughal Gardens have hundreds of various species of flowers and are accessible to the public every February. Other gardens on the property include herbal spiritual circle gardens as well as spectacular flora. There are 9 tennis courts, squash courts, 37 fountains, polo grounds, cricket fields and a 14-hole golf course on the grounds as well as staff quarters, a full-service garage and even a private hospital. While this is one of the most costliest palaces in the world, the most expensive palace in the world is China's Forbidden City Complex, which is estimated at $70 billion. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on another wonderful video from us. Till next time!